Hey guys, welcome back. This is Trading Signals, episode 20. And <clears throat> what we're going to do today is to debug the code we have written in episode at episode 18 and 19. We have a move from version from the iteration one of trading signal to the iteration number two. And now it's time for debugging. So let's go to the code. We will have code running here at task server number one. And what we're going to check if all the connections were good. So starting, <clears throat> I'm going to organize this a little bit better. On the top, I have trading simulation, the stack of trading, of the trading board, trading simulation, trading system, staged execution, orders, profile schema file, I don't need this. Trading session, I don't need this. Mm, okay, so in here, I have the outgoing signals module, outgoing candle, peer-to-peer -peer network start, and here I have the incoming signals, incoming candle, peer-to-peer -peer network interface, and this is the full stack in reverse, okay, of how Maybe I can put it in correct order. This is how things arrive. So from here, it comes to here, it comes to the open open net, uh, open net, storage project. It jumps there, it saves the file, and it comes back here, then here, then the HTTP client. That we don't really need it, but probably we we should load it too. Then it goes into the peer-to-peer -peer network, which then it jumps into here at the receiving end. Okay, the receiving end is going to be in another Visual Studio code because we need to do it with another bot, okay? Then it will come here, here, and here. Okay. So outgoing signals, we are going to debug from here. <coughs> and yeah, we will identify all the, I will take notes in this notepad that I'm going to put on one side. So if there are some missing stuff, that I will do later, I will going to write them there. Okay, so let's get into this. I'm going to run this like this. Oops. Okay. So this says that await needs an asynchronic function. So here we are at the broadcast file key. There is a kind of callback from the open storage project. Do we need to await this or not? That's the question. Peer-to-peer -peer network start.
So this function have a mechanism in which if we cannot send the message, <clears throat> it is going to store it. And every message that we try to send, it seems that it's going to to force the whole queue of messages to be tried to send, to be sent. Which is good, but it's not really perfect because it depends on somebody pushing a new message. So if the last message doesn't go through, then nobody's going to push it. And that is not really an optimal solution. What we usually do here is we we create a mechanism that is going to be sending the messages no matter what. Okay. So here is something penned into code. Uh, I'm thinking if I'm coding this now or I let it for later. Um, okay, I will write it at here. Peer to peer network start needs a mechanism to send ending to retry. unsend messages okay <clears throat> so peer-to-peer -peer network start also have at its disposal an array of different network nodes so it can this has some space to be more intelligent and if you cannot send it it cannot send it through one of the nodes it should try with the others and so there is a space to to make this more intelligent. So what we have is not the optimum solution. So I write it down and that's it. So this means that probably we don't need to await this because we're going to push it into this array. And if everything, the error handler is, is, is done well, then this guy doesn't really need to wait for anything because it's not waiting for a response or anything. So remove it. It looks like to me that there's going to be a third iteration, uh, giving all the, all the resilience to all these modules that probably they are not at the at that stage now. It's this second iteration is about this working with this new workflow, but it's not to reach the most resilient way possible so that it doesn't fail anywhere, okay? So, okay. So this is running. That means that if I go to the user interface, I can connect the bots sending the signals. Can connect it by hitting debug here. Oh, so there is a lot of code that has been written, so it's going to crash everywhere until it starts working. 
So what is this? Are we property undefined? Okay, where? Task server. SA projects trading signals, modules, outgoing candle signals. It's not really here. It seems so the way to, to check this is to see incoming sign signal. Let's check if this is the same property. Oh, hold on. Task server. Okay, incoming, the property name is the same. The place where this is is not good because it's TS. And I'm writing as A. So where this should be? Income, incoming candle signals. So the signals, the signal mechanism, it's also going to run somewhere else beyond the task server. Probably not, so my guess is that here at this task server, hold on, this is at the task server, but the project is wrong. It's not found, no, what am I doing? This is this, okay here. This is task server and this is task server. Okay, so let's go again. Debug. Cannot run this task because this is not a function. Which one is not a function? Okay, we got out going two times. No problem. We'll do it again, no problem. Debug. Okay, so this is running. The only problem is that the network node is not connected. Um, we can run the network node here. Let's do it. Okay, so this is running and now the network now it is connected. 
So we are good. Next thing to do is to run the bot via running the session, backtesting session. And then we should wait at the breakpoint. Amazing. <clears throat> so, so far we are good. We have this uh, initial box. I want to clear this. So here we go. All good so far. There is no context. The trading saying signal message is going to be all this. There's no formula value. The node is a trigger on event. Okay. And now, yes. We are going to get into this. We are sending the social trading bot. We get into this. So we have this map that is empty. And because it's empty, we are going to initialize this and we are going to add one item that is going to be an empty array for now. Okay, so then is this the, the signal that tell us that the whole candle was processed? No, so we're going to add an item to the array. Okay, now it has one item. That means that inside this bot that has one entry, this map, then the array has one item that is this trading signal stuff. Okay, so far it looks good. So I'm going to put a breakpoint in here because we know, okay, we maybe we can run it again. There it comes another signal, the take position event that goes well in there. So here it comes. So candle signals, the array, it's not undefined. And this is not the signal that tells us it's the end of the candle. So we are adding to this array one more item. That means that it has two items. Okay, so we continue one more. And this comes here. And now it has two items. You're going to have three items. So it eventually going to continue adding stuff. Until we will remove all these breakpoints until we receive the no type trading system. That it means that we have the candle signal, the one that is uh, emitted once the whole candle was process okay so because we have the candle signal we are also going to add the candle signal because it's a signal after all to the array that it has in total um, nine elements okay so then we will come here and delete from this bot
we're going to delete this so that the next time it comes here okay so we're going to put a breakpoint here to check that out breakpoint here and we're going to jump into the open storage client that we already debugged this so Wait a second. We were here at candle, right? Yes. So we need a little bit more space. So now we are here on the open storage client. We won't need this or this guy. So from this map that is empty, no, sorry, from this map that is empty, we will do the same trick. Try to get the key of the current social trading board. Because it's empty, we'll create an empty array and we're going to put it inside the map. And to that map, we are going to add this candle signals array, and we are going to also at, the, at this different array, we are going to also store our node, the social trading bot, because it's going to be needed. So at this array, we we'll have one stuff one item which is our social trading node okay and at this uh, at this map we will have one entry that is the candles array okay value The candles arrive with the nine signals. <laughs> Good. So this is finished here, and execution will continue at some point when this triggers every one second. It's going to save the file that we haven't touched this, and so it should work. But once it saves the file and the file is saved, we will continue from here that we broadcast the file key. Okay, so we will let it run. This is going to come and delete. We are at the candle signals to delete what we had at our map. So the map is going to be empty because it already was transmitted to the open storage. So now it got zero. So on this circuit, probably there's nothing else we need to know because we already know the candle signals still have a value, but it's a local variable. So we'll continue and something crashed. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, now I know what it is. At uh, the trading simulation, we are calling a maintained function that used to be at some place, and now it's not anymore. Okay, let's check that out. Trading simulation, this is not here anymore. The maintain now is part of the incoming stuff located here. Maintain. Maintain. So this guy
Wait, sorry. This guy. I'm going to take this and to the trading simulation. We're going to replace this. And now it's much more cleaner because we are maintaining single storage and it's logical that it should be here at trading signals, incoming candle signals because it's the storage of incoming signal. So it's going to be fixed for the next execution. Okay, so we can get rid of this guy. So we were executing here. We have a file key. And we have the social trading bot <coughs> node. So this continues here, where we are going to broadcast the signal to the network. So let's see if everything goes smoothly. Yes, yeah, so far so good. Everything perfect because we have the social trading bot, we brought it up to here. And now we are going to build the signal object, which has our file key. from the task server app with this ID and the social trading bot with this ID we are going to sign signal signatures user app Okay, we're signing the, the signal file key. This is done like an arbitrary decision, but this is what we're signing. I'm not sure that on the incoming workflow, we are verifying the signature is from the file key itself and not from the signal object. Let me check this. Uh, we are here incoming signal candles, validate signatures. Let's look into this. What does this do? Recovers the signal. It checks user app, not linking to user profile. Social trading bot, but signature social trading bot, link it, not link it. The sign message is the same as the sign I'll receive. So here is going to fail because what we are okay. first here we are continue having this signal message that we already refactor into signal. Signal message, signal message, signal message. Okay, so we're going to refactor this. This is a sign now. Then, these are signal validations. Okay, so Validate that the sign message is the same Okay, so here what we actually sign it is the file key
file key. So this is what we actually sign. We will verify that the signal belongs to the signal contained on the, the message. Which is the signed message? Okay, the signed message is the file key. So we're going to hash it and compare to the hashes of the signature, and that is a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to remove this <coughs> and Where are we? Open storage. It came back to here. So it's going to sign this. Where are we? Well, it looks like this executed again, but I am a little bit lost now where we are. Just want to know if this is going to work. No, something crashed. So maintain is not a function. Okay, I don't know where it crashed. Now we have breakpoints at different places. Okay, so here we have a few more bug fixes. Let's run this again. Probably we are going to remove some Breakpoints now. We already know this is good. We already know this is working. So we are in here. We want to move forward from here. Okay, so let's run it. So this is running. So let's make the bot run. And wait for it to reach this point. Broadcast signal. We already said this was working. Wait, wait a minute. How well outgoing candle kind of signal, so no more breakpoints there. Where are you, babe? Something is not working. I'm going to check my repository. Oh, 
repositories of my trading signals. Okay, At December today is 21. Um, here there is one one file that is not so there is something wrong here obviously I got lost got a little bit lost because we weren't reaching this point let's stop it here So I need this guy to stop here. I don't like how this is working. Okay, let's do it again. Debug. So what is going on? So we have several candles, five candles, but I don't see any saving of this. So what is going on? It's accumulating the candles here. But it's never executing this. Why not? Interval ID Can it be possible 
that it doesn't execute it because there is no asynchronic operation. Because the candle processing is a loop. So maybe it's processing every candle and it just doesn't stop. So it's going to wait until it has all the candles and then it's going to make a set, it's going to go, I mean, the set interval is, is hooked at the Node.js loop, event loop. So it, it looks like that we are not giving the event loop a chance to run. That's probably what's going on. It simply doesn't have the chance. And if it doesn't run, then it doesn't run the set interval. Then it doesn't run the other stuff. So maybe we need a the trading simulation to give some air and after before running the loop again do an X tick or something like this. Mm. So if we are going to break the loop, broadcast signal, when should we do that? And the trading simulation that doesn't really need this or at the open storage at the open storage client maybe at the open storage client So every time we persist a candle, we push this to the array, we set this, probably we should do a process next tick, process next tick, to allow it to execute the stop hook it at the <clears throat> Node.js event loop. We will try this one. Okay, so we will stop this. Run it. Debug from here. What is this? Okay, because this is running now. I mean, the event loop is, is free, so it's executing. So that's why this is stopping. Okay. Now we run the bot. 
and we wait. We'll put this here. This is going to execute the next tick. That means that it's going to have in here with some exception in the middle open storage client. Callback must be a function, receive and define. What do you mean? Okay. I'm going to Google this because I don't really know what what this means. Call back to the next tick queue. This queue is fully drained after the current operation that runs. So it's not clear to me how this works. This queue is fully drained after the current operation. Mm. 
Okay. Maybe what I'm going to do is to... What we can do here is to get up to this point. I'm going to record the progress here with some bug fixes. And we leave this problem for the next episode where What's going on here? Okay. So the problem that we have now is that the simulation is running continuously in a loop without asynchronic operations. Um, because it already have all the indicators and all it already have read all the files. So if, in fact, it's optimized for that, for running without any interruptions. But the problem is that it doesn't give any space for the Node.js event loop to, to run. And because of that, it's not running our interval that it was supposed to run every one second because it's busy. So, I used to solve this kind of problem with this next tick, but I, I haven't done it in a long, long time. So, um, I will have to research this a little bit more. And once I have the solution, I will come back and we will do another episode where we will continue with this debugging and overcome, uh, overcome this roadblock that we have now. So we'll leave this episode in here um, thank you for watching and see you next time